How to use Basecamp. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Basecamp and we'll also be looking at some of the advantages or disadvantages of using Basecamp. What is Basecamp? Well, it is designed to help teams stay organized, communicate efficiently, and also manage projects efficiently. Basecamp also provides a centralized platform where team members can collaborate and share files and assign tasks and track progress together. While Basecamp is not specifically built as a CRM, it does offer certain benefits related to project management and team collaboration that can be advantageous for businesses. So let's dive in. The first thing you'll need to do is go onto Basecamp.com. Once on Basecamp.com, we are going to tap on Try Basecamp for free. After tapping on Try Basecamp for free, you can see that you have a 30-day trial period available that does not require a credit card to sign up or anything like that. So all we'll be doing right where you see Basecamp ideal for freelancers, startups or smaller teams, we'll be using that one. So we're going to tap on try for free. From here, you'll be prompt to enter your name, email address and organization name. So let me do that real quick. So I'll simply name this simple answers. So let me type that in real quick right here. Then I'll enter my email address. Once you have signed up, you'll be led to this page right here. All you have to do now is tap on OK. Then you'll simply close out of this. Once you have closed out of it, I want you to pay attention to the top menu option. As you can see, we have the home icon right here. And you can also tap on line up and you'll be able to see your calendar right there as you can see. And if we were to tap on here, you would see your message box right there. That is your inbox. And you can also track the activity of yourself and also your team members as you can see right here. You will have access to someone's activity, someone's assignment by tapping on it. And also the to tools list and also the overview. And you can see right here, you can tap on my stuff. And from there, you'll see your assignment, your schedule, and also your drafts. As I was saying earlier, Basecamp is mainly a platform for teams that are creating or better doing a project. It makes it easy for each member to track an individual. And it also makes it easy for team members to know what is expected for, from them on a specific task or so on. So let's say, for example, we'd like to create a new project. All we'll have to do is tap right where you see make a new project. And let's say this new project is to create a new YouTube channel. So we'll tap on type in create new channel. So let me do that real quick. Then you could type in the description right there. After you have typed in the description, you can choose the start and end date. So let me choose the start date right here. So my start date will be, let me scroll down so I can see the calendar better. It will be the 1st of June and the end date will be the 5th of June. And you can see right here, you can choose who you want to invite or who can see this invite. Then I'll tap on create this project. After you have tapped on create this project, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can create a to-do list. And as I said, Basecamp is mainly built for team members. So you can organize what is the duty of each team member to do this project. So I could simply tap right here where it says to-dos. We could tap right there and I could create a new to-do list. So let me do that real quick. Then I'll tap on the name right here, name the list. So I'm going to simply type in test. Then you can add any extras that you want right here. So I'll type in create new channel. Let me do that real quick. After you have done that, you'll scroll down and you'll tap on add this to list. 
so you can see that it is saving right there and also you can describe this right here you can describe the new task and also you can scroll down and you can add a comment right here if you want and you can notify the person that you would like to do this to do list right here where you see add or remove person you can tap right there and you'll be able to fill in the person's name or so on so let me save that once you have saved that all you'll need to do now is tap on home again and you can see the to-do list has been pasted right there and there are numerous other features that Basecamp have for example if I were to go over to my stuff again you can tap on my schedule and from there I can organize my schedule I can set up something new that I want to create or so on and you can also incorporate your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar right here and let me go back quickly so I'll go back right there and to invite new persons all you'll have to do is tap on invite people then you can see someone who works at simple or if it is an outside collaborator or partner or contractor you can select any one of these and you can also add clients onto projects if you want once you have done that you are going to tap on next and then from here you will enter the person's full name their job title their email address then you'll send the email invite and that's how you'll be able to invite team members onto Basecamp once you have done that you'll tap on home again and if you'd like to create more projects all you have to do is tap on create project right there and you'll be able to create more projects and that's basically it when it comes to Basecamp I've shown you majority of the features so I can tap right here and you can see majority of the features right there my assignment you'll be able to track the assignment that you have and so on and as I said this is mainly a platform for persons to be able to incorporate or to link up with team members so you don't have to download numerous apps to share documents or anything like that so you it will cut down the chances of any miscommunication or persons slacking off and not completing a task on a set time so no team member will feel over pressured or whatever or so on so this is definitely a good platform if you have any upcoming project and you have numerous persons on your team and you want to eliminate the chances of miscommunications or persons slacking off if you found this tutorial helpful in any way be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and thank you and thank you for watching this video